Hi guys and welcome to Neat Sports. This is your Champions League match day review. A massive night of Champions League football, the first night for the season. It's it's good to be back. And we're going to start at Anfield. Liverpool played Paris Saint-Germain in the big game of the evening and they won. They won 3-2. A result you could say a lot predicted, a lot knew it would be uh, a tight game and they also knew it would be uh, a game with goals and attacking play. Most of the attacking play, I have to say, came from Liverpool, PSG. They did disappoint me in spells, but it's, they were away from home. I think at 2-2, for example, they would have been happy with a draw. Once they weathered the early storm um, in the, the first 20 minutes of the game, they would have been happy at how the game settled down and, and slowed down. But Liverpool hit them with... Two quick goals. The second, I would say, was all PSG's fault. Bernat, there's no way he should have gone in for a tackle um, as he did to, to give the penalty to Liverpool, which Milner slotted away for 2-0. But PSG got a goal back just before half-time to make it 2-1. And then Kylian Mbappe, the boy wonder, scored what looked to be the equaliser. But Bobby Firmino off the bench with a injured eye after the weekend, his tangle tussle with uh, Vertonga, and he came off the bench and slotted a stoppage time winner for Liverpool. So they're off to a flyer in the Champions League, three points on the board. And the other game in their group, uh, Red Star Belgrade and Napoli that ended nil-nil. So Liverpool, they're top. They already got that gap. Really, it should be, you, sh you should think it'd be plain sailing from here. They've beaten what would be the strongest or the, the other strongest team in the group um, at home. And you would think their next hardest game would be the away tie um, in Paris. The other English team in action, the early kickoff was Spurs against Inter Milan. Spurs on the back of two successive defeats, one before the international break, uh, a 2-1 loss from leading against Watford and then uh, a 2-1 loss at home to Liverpool after the international break. The the Watford game, you would say, came as a surprise on the back of a 3-0 victory against Manchester United. But the Liverpool game, the performance was just poor all around. Lethargic, um, no energy, no ideas, and just a very soppy game in, in total. And I think that really played itself out today at the San, in the San Siro. The first half especially, Tottenham just weren't in it. They were they were very poor defensively, which is a surprise when you got the likes of Vertonghen at the back, Ben Davis, um, and Davinson Sanchez, who all had brilliant seasons last year. But they were very sloppy in the midfield, just like the Liverpool game. They could not string two passes together. And then Harry Kane. Like, what do you do with him? One of the best strikers in the world. Um, the Golden Boot winner consecutive years in the Premier League, but he's heavily, heavily off form. But do you drop him? Can you drop someone like Harry Kane? And if you do, can you rely on the likes of Son Mora, who has had a brilliant start to the season, and Lamella, Ali and Eriksen to replicate the, the goals that he has given Spurs? Maybe he needs a rest. He was rushed back at the back end of last season um, to play in the, the FA Cup semi-final against Manchester United. And you could say really since then he hasn't been the Harry Kane that we know. The World Cup, even though he got the golden boot, he wasn't sharp. He didn't look very good and he hasn't started the season looking on in fine form, even though he has got two goals so fast. And, and as it turned out, Spurs lost that lead Ericsson gave them early in the second half. And a wonder goal from Mauro Icardi equalised in the 85th minute, a volley from outside the box, caught it so sweetly, Vorm had no chance. And then a 91st minute winner from uh, Vecino, a header past Vorm, 2-1 to Inter Milan. And the other team in their group, Barcelona, 4-0 winners against PSG. No prizes for guessing who was on the score sheet. Lionel Messi with his eighth Champions League hat-trick, leading Champions League hat-trick uh, scorer of all time. One ahead of Cristiano Ronaldo, who will be playing tomorrow for Juventus. And the um, third, sorry, the second player after Raul to score in 14 consecutive um, Champions League seasons. And running through the other games quickly, Atletico Madrid, they beat Monaco 2-1, coming from behind, um, away in France, Diego Costa and Jimenez on the score, score sheet. And we had Schalke drawing 1-1, 
with Porto at home and Galatasaray thumping Lokomotiv Moscow 3-0 at home. But it's been an exciting uh, Tuesday of Champions League football and we hope for the same tomorrow. Make sure you tune in. We have our live show reviewing the Manchester United against Young Boys and obviously Manchester City also in action. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, comment below and share this video and I'll see you soon.